Start from the beginning? All right, I was issued a jaywalking ticket three months ago, and two months ago they issued me a warrant. Picked up, Got picked up on a $100 warrant. Got taken in to the police station. I was in cell block for 24 hours, 28 hours. I, I just, uh, I went to the court this morning. It was a long, painstaking process. What did you eat while you were in jail? Uh, a br piece of bread with some jelly and a cup of ramen with some bread. They had stroganoff, but they only fed it to the people they liked, so it was like selective. Oh, really? Damn. They're like dicks about it, you know? They didn't give me a mattress. They denied me a mattress. They, uh, they didn't give me a blanket until one in the morning. I had to stay at I like your rosary. I had to stay up until one in the morning, screaming, give me a mattress, give me a blanket, please. And they denied me, they never gave me a pillow. They never gave me a mattress, but they gave me a nice, comfortable blanket. So they had to stay up till about one in the morning to beg for it. Damn. So as you say, it was a little bit of, uh, they yeah. were a little racist in there? Yeah, yeah. definitely. They are rude, disrespectful people in jail. So, and did you have a cellmate or anything? I, I did not have a cellmate in cell block, but at the courthouse, I had like eight cellmates. How long were you there? Uh, I want to say I was there for about two hours, and then like 30 minutes upstairs seeing, seeing my attorney. You know, they provide a public defender. You have to speak with a public defender. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I guess you're glad to be out, right? I am, you know, but it's unfortunate that I can't get the proper mental health help that I need to remember what day it is. You know, especially since I hit my head really hard in my life. You know, I got hit over the head. I have an undiagnosed uh, traumatic brain injury. And I need to, uh, I need to go and I need to have someone help me remember what day it is to go to court. And that's unfortunate that those services are really hard to get due to insurance and paperwork and program bullshit, you know? So there's guys like me who are So I guess they, they gave you time served. It was for jaywalking, right? Yeah. Like, it, damn. It was, it was like, uh, it was, you know, uh, it was, uh, huh. It was a fun experience. <laughs> It was not fun because every time I, like this, these two guys in the cell, yeah, uh, big Hawaiian moats with like tribals down their face, probably tattooed, face his dick, tattoos? probably just tattooed his dick in his asshole with tribals. Okay, all right, then watch the language, watch the language. Yeah, but, but he came up to me and was like, what you fuck up? Fuck you gonna do, huh? Shut your fucking mouth, Holly boy. And I was like, what the fuck up? I was, you know, cause last time I was in fucking lockup, it was totally cool. You know, the yeah. Hawaiians, the Canucks, the Mopes, the Hollies, Portuguese, it was all cool. It was all like, hey, we're in this together, we're all one team, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But, you know, last time, this time it was totally different. This other guy just staring me down, calling me out, giving me problems. You know? And, you know, the, the guards kept having to open the door and, like, threaten to move them because they were, like, causing problems. Yeah, damn. What were they in for, you know? Uh, most of them were felons. Out of out of the nine of us, there were a good four of them that were felons. They had the red band. White means misdemeanor, red means felon. Uh, oh, really? I didn't know that. Interesting, cool. Um, so did, did you, uh, they just let you out? You were they glad? let me out. I paid my dues. You know, the judge, the judicial system really likes me What's because up, every time Rupert? I get in trouble, they dismiss my case. Yeah, that's cool. They must know something. It's because my dad worked for the CIA. Yeah. Yeah. 